Hey guys, Rukshan here from Tech Inc Australia and today I've got the Microsoft Lumia 640XL with me for an unboxing. The 640XL was announced a few months back but it just became widely available, uh, particularly in Australia. It's not a flagship device from Microsoft uh, but for a budget device it does offer a lot. You can currently get the Lumia 640XL for $399 outright. Uh, there's also a 640 device for $299 uh, but that's got a smaller screen and lower specs. The one that I'm going to be focusing on today is the 640XL and the XL does stand for extra large. So with the box it's pretty straightforward, uh, pretty simple small box. Uh, you've got this big big picture of the Lumia 640 here and they've also put a 640 in the time, very smart. One thing to watch out for is you would think that you're getting the orange version um, or maybe the blue version or the white version but in fact in this box you are getting the black version so it's always important to just check the side of the box and see which color you're getting. So to open the box itself you just slide it out. I'm guessing you got the phone there. Just take the phone out. Take this cover out. Uh, you've got a battery and a manual. So the battery is removable uh, which is a great thing. Flip through the guide here. I guess the one important thing to check always for a phone is just, especially if it's got a back cover to remove for the battery, is uh, how to open the back cover properly without actually wrecking the phone. And we've got a little, another little box here. And that's got the micro USB charger. So pretty straightforward. Um, in the box you get the phone, the charger, uh, battery, and manual. So I'll put the box aside for a bit. So let's have a look at the phone itself. Just take it out of the plastic. So the first thing you'll notice is probably the screen. Uh, it's a 5.7 inch screen, so it's, it's fairly big. Uh, the resolution is uh, 1280 by 720p. The color that I've got is the, the black version. You can actually clip the back cover off. Just on the side here. Like so. Just take it off without wrecking it. So there you go, that's the black cover. Uh, it does come in additional uh, colors as well. So out of the box you can get it in uh, a few different colors, uh, which I'll put up here. Uh, I actually wanted the white one, but due to availability I got stuck with the black one. So for me, black's a bit boring. Uh, that's one of the good things about these phones. Uh, the different colors, you can kind of style the phone uh, to your preference, uh, which is always a great thing. Just put that aside. So on the back here, we got the uh, slot for the battery, so the battery bay. Uh, there's a micro SD slot, uh, so you can actually expand the memory on this phone, which is great. Uh, th and then you have the SIM card slot. In terms of network support, it supports a wide array of network bands, uh, particularly good support for LTE. So this is the 4G version. I'm just going to put the battery in. cover back on. So the device itself is 9mm thin, um, which is pretty good. It's not as thin as let's say the iPhone 6 Plus or the Galaxy Note 4, but for a device in this price range and in this class, uh, it's pretty thin. Uh, so on the front, uh, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, we've got the Microsoft logo. Uh, there's actually no physical hardware buttons. Um, so when the phone turns on, you'll probably get the, uh, the start, uh, back and search buttons light up as well. Um, so they're touch enabled. Uh, we've got a camera here, which is the front facing camera. That's a 5 megapixel camera and it's a wide angle lens. Uh, it shoots 1920 by 1080p um, and it should be fine for taking selfies and doing video calls. Um, on the side, we've got uh, the power and I guess that locks the phone up as well. And we've got the volume rocker up here turn it around and on the back the first thing that will probably catch your eye is the camera itself uh, it's a fairly large lens and it also sticks out a little bit um, it's pretty common in the Lumia design uh, and some, most of the Lumia uh, models have that little bump for the camera so the camera itself is a 13 megapixel shooter um, it's got a f2.0 lens made by Zeiss and you've also got an LED flash uh, on the top I think it's also got four times uh, optical zoom uh, which is good in terms of performance, um, just from my previous experience with Lumia phones, uh, the cameras are usually pretty good. Uh, this one should be no exception. 
In terms of the handling of the phone, uh, when you're actually using it in your hand, uh, it weighs around 171 grams, uh, so it does feel well balanced and weighted. Uh, it's not as uh, solid as, let's say, a more high-end phone, uh, basically because of the materials that are being used here. So it is a plastic body all the way around. However, it does feel quite robust, um, I have to say, and you know it can take a few knocks. So the screen itself is Gorilla Glass, uh, which should afford you some sort of protection from unintended scratches. Uh, let's say you brush it up against your keys or drop it on the floor. Uh, this should give you some sort of protection. Uh, but with any kind of display this size, it's always good just to stick a cover on the front um, or put it into a case uh, because it's such a lot of real estate here that can get scratched up. So I'll just switch it on here. There you go, loads up with the Microsoft logo. Uh, on the back as well, you've got the Microsoft logo. Uh, so this is kind of the first range of phones that you're getting out in the market which are predominantly branded as Microsoft. So the main uh, specs of this phone, it's powered by a Snapdragon 1.2 GHz quad core processor. Uh, it's got one gigabyte of RAM. Uh, for a Windows uh, device, uh, it's one gigabyte of RAM is quite good. Um, the operating system itself is quite lightweight in terms of resources, uh, so it handles most things um, uh, quite well. So the phone itself has 8GB of memory, which is not a lot these days um, in terms of the way we consume uh, music and videos especially. Uh, but one of the things with this phone is you can actually expand the memory. So you can put a uh, micro SD card in here, and I think the maximum size micro SD card you can put is 128GB, uh, which is a lot of space. Uh, I would recommend doing that, uh, just installing all your, you know, just your games, um, your photos, your music, your videos on that micro SD card itself. Uh, and that way you can always swap it out with something else if you did fill that up. The screen itself is a clear back IPS display panel. Um, what that means is it should render up blacks quite nicely and it's also good in direct sunlight, um, which some phones struggle with. There's also a bunch of built-in sensors in this device. Uh, most of them we've become accustomed to having on our smartphones. This one's also got the new sensor call feature from Microsoft. So that means it'll integrate nicely with all your health apps, um, you know, your fitness tracking. Uh, you've got Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, all your standard stuff. Uh, the 4G version, uh, which this one is, the LTE version, uh, it's also got uh, NFC built in as well for cardless transactions or pairing it with other NFC devices, which is great. So the battery you get included with the phone is a 3000 milliamp battery. Uh, it's a fairly large battery, so you should get a good solid days of usage, uh, maybe even a day and a half, two days, uh, depending on how you're using the phone. Uh, for different use scenarios, Microsoft actually gives a breakdown of what they think uh, you'll get out of the phone. So this comes with Windows Phone 8.1 uh, Denim. That's Microsoft's latest version of Windows Phone. And it'll also be upgradable to Windows 10 uh, in the future when that's available as well. You've got the usual Lumia apps which come with uh, most of the Microsoft phones. Uh, there's also integration with Cortana, uh, OneDrive and OneNote. Uh, for mapping, uh, you get uh, Here Drive and Here Maps. Uh, Here Drive is great, you can actually download the entire map for Australia. Um, it's free and it works really well with turn-by-turn -turn navigation. Once again, Microsoft is giving you an Office 365 subscription for one year. Um, so you'll get access to Office, uh, Microsoft Word, Excel and PowerPoint included as well. Um, and that comes with some OneDrive storage, um, additional OneDrive storage as well. On the App Store side of things, most of the essential apps are now available through the Windows App Store. With the coming of Universal Apps, uh, Microsoft are hoping to see more uh, apps which are developed solely for iOS or Android uh, be ported over to Windows because uh, they've made the tools for doing that a lot easier. So going forward, um, I think we're going to have a much bigger and robust App Store. But currently for most people and their, and their usage purposes, uh, most of the apps we commonly use uh, are in the App Store. So who's this device for? Uh, I would probably say anyone. Uh, if you want a large screen phone uh, without paying too much, uh, this is kind of the device you would be looking at. Um, it's a great budget phone uh, with a lot of features. Uh, if you've never used a Windows phone, uh, don't worry, it's quite simple to use after you get used to it. Um, and if you're coming from uh, using a Windows phone, you would know that it's got a, I'd say, a very superior user experience. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, I will do a follow-up review of this device after I've used it for a week or two. Um, as always, if you've enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up or a like or subscribe. See you next time.